Hello everyone, it's Lisa. Today we'll be making sweet and sticky Chinese barbecue pork called cha siu. This is the popular meat that you'll see in the shop front of many Chinese restaurants. It is absolutely delicious and it's actually really easy to make at home. All you need to do is marinate the pork and then pop it in the oven the next day. After this, I promise you'll never eat a dry piece of cha siu again. And as usual, all the ingredients will be listed below. So let's start with our marinade. We're going to add in some hoisin sauce, which is the sweet sauce used for dipping and also used for stir fries. You may have seen them being used as a condiment for pho in Vietnamese restaurants. Then we're going to add equal amounts of honey, Shaoxing wine, and soy sauce. Next, add in some dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, and brown sugar. Add a teeny bit of 5 spice powder. This is a key ingredient, you don't want to skip it, but also you don't want to overdo it because it is really strong. And we're also going to crush in some garlic. To get the beautiful red color that we usually see on char siu, I'm going to add beetroot powder. It works really well as a coloring agent and you can also use this to make colorful dumplings or add it to your daily smoothie for its awesome health benefits. If you want to go the more traditional route for adding the red coloring, you can use this red fermented bean curd. I'll write the quantities in the description below if you want to use this instead of the beetroot powder, but I had trouble finding this ingredient so I'm pretty sure it might not be easy for you guys to find it either. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the beetroot powder and give the marinade a good mix. From this, we're going to reserve a quarter cup for the glaze later. For the meat, we're going to use pork butt, which is also called pork shoulder. The fattier meat and the more marbling the meat has, the better this is going to taste. But if you want to go the lean route, I would suggest the pork tenderloin. So I'm just going to cut this big piece of meat into smaller pieces and I'd say I cut them about 3 inches wide and I just kept the length. I like to place a tray under our Ziploc bag to catch any spills. We don't want to be getting that red food coloring everywhere. So add all the meat into the Ziploc bag and pour in the marinade. Massage it in and make sure it gets into every nook and cranny. The pork needs to marinate for at least 24 hours. You don't want to do any less unless you're using tender cuts of meat. So it's been 24 hours, now it's time to make some char siu. Remove the marinated pork from the fridge and let it sit for 30 minutes until it reaches room temperature. We will need a sheet pan and a cooling rack. We're gonna line the sheet pan with foil first. All the marinade is going to drip from the meat and burn and harden on the pan. So if you want to save some time cleaning up, definitely use a tin foil. Place the cooling rack in and then our marinated pork on top. Put it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to roast it for about 15 minutes and then we're going to take it out and glaze it. Pour some water into the pan, which will prevent any drippage from getting burned. While that's cooking, let's make the glaze. Make some honey into the marinade we saved earlier. After 15 minutes, take the pork out and glaze the top with our honey marinade. Then flip the pork over, glaze the other side, and put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes. When 15 minutes is up, we're going to take it out and repeat the same basting and flipping process again and put it back in. But this time, we're going to roast for 10 minutes. Also, make sure to replenish your water if it has dried up. Take it out again, we'll glaze and flip one last time and roast for another 10 minutes. So that's 50 minutes total in the oven. We're going to add just 5 more minutes but this time we're going to put it in the highest setting or broil to get some charred edges. Our cha siu is now done! Look at that! Look at the beautiful glossy finish and the charred edges. I can't wait to dig in but we need to let it rest for 8 minutes. Do not skip the resting part or you will lose the juices that have collected in the cha siu. 
So the char siu has rested for 8 minutes now and it's time to dig in. Let's see what this bad boy looks like inside. Wow, it looks so moist and juicy. You know, they say that the end piece is the best part and I just couldn't help myself. I started eating it. But can we take a moment to look at the perfect layers of meat and fat here? It just turned out so good. If your pan drippings did not burn, you can definitely collect it. This thing is liquid gold. Use it in stir fries or just drizzle it over your meat. I think everyone should make cha siu at home. It's a total game changer. I'll be sharing one of my favorite ways to incorporate cha siu in my meal, so be sure to come back next week. Thanks for watching this recipe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!